Hello everyone, welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing not what is in these bags, which what is in these bags, can you take a guess? So what is in these bags is coffee, coffee beans. So we're not actually reviewing the coffee beans, we are reviewing a cheap Amazon coffee grinder. That's right. This little guy ranges anywhere from $9.99 to $21.99. And I skipped that range because Amazon, the prices based on demand changes. So this Amazon Basics little coffee grinder. So let me show you up close. This is it. The lid locks in place and you press down and it's supposed to grind it. So you can't do a crazy amount at one time, but you still can do a fair amount. So we're going to put this to the ultimate test. So these are the different coffees, um, beans that I got. Now these were at our local Sharp Shopper for $2.99 each for these big bags. So this is espresso coffee light roast and this is Brazilian coffee. So I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go ahead and get jarred to put the coffee grounds in when we're done, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this, it's very simple. Put the coffee beans in here and press down. Um, I do think they also say you can use this for other things as well, not just coffee. So let's go ahead and open up the bag. We have a couple jars here that we're going to put the coffee in. Oh wow, that smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. Wow. That smells amazing. Wow. Okay. Um, I think to make this easier, maybe we're going to pour this into a bowl so you guys can see them better. So stay tuned. Okay. This is the espresso coffee. I mean, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of coffee beans. Wow. Oh my goodness. Now, I have never in my life actually held coffee beans. Um, I've never had coffee beans. I've never purchased them or anything. What's funny is they're lightweight. Like I, I don't know, I guess I never really had any expectation on them. So I don't know what they're going to produce. Like I don't know how much coffee grounds come from them. We're going to go ahead and put it closer so you can see inside how it looks. So we're just going to fill it up. In here it shows a line for max. So we're going to fill it up to where it shows the line. Which is kind of surprising. You can actually put a quite a bit in here. But this smells amazing. I, I never knew they smelled this. I mean, yeah, when you pour coffee it smells good, but I never knew that the beans, I mean, I, it makes sense. So it seems like some, okay. Um, it might make a little bit of a mess. That's probably because I shook it up and down. Wow. 
Okay, so one thing I did read online is when you ground them, um, you're supposed to lay them flat because the heat from the blade spinning heats them up and creates moisture, so you don't want to put them in something sealed right away. So let me go ahead and get something just to put the grounds on. And that's the coffee grounds. Oh wow, it smells so good. So we'll let that air dry and let's continue. Makes a little bit of a mess. So far, I'm happy. It did its job really well. I wonder if we could use this or if like that's what it's made for. Use that to scoop. Actually, that worked really well. Just using the cap to scoop. So yeah, it does make a mess when you pull the cap off. Um, like it does get the coffee. See, seems like it gets it everywhere. May, I think maybe when you're done, maybe tap the sides first. So once we figure all that out, you'll learn this with me as we do this. So should go ahead and shake it up, break up the pieces because it creates it creates moisture. Um, because of the blade spinning so fast. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing it pre ahead of time. Um, you could do it only when you're making coffee so you could keep these beans which is what I'm gonna do for a lot of it. Um, but just to demonstrate you know I have this that is airtight sealed with a lid so that's where I'll probably keep the beans in here and then make them manually when I want coffee. So anyway, let's go overview and let's give our rating on this. It is cheap. There's a link in the video description if you're interested. It's cheap, so I'm going to base my review off of how it performs, how it looks, and how everything is based off of the price because you can't compare this to, you know, I can't, I can't rate it for it being so cheap versus like a $50 one. So with that being said, I give this an eight out of 10. And I would give it higher, the only reason I don't give it higher is it creates a mess. As you can see, you get coffee grounds on the side. Besides that, it, it works great. It cuts great. Blade works good. Everything about it works great. I'm very happy with it. So it gets an eight out of 10. Um, so yeah, I will continually use this and update it in six months, update it in a year and whatnot. As time goes on, I will update it so you guys can know how it's still performing and whatnot. But for the first performance, very impressed. It's working very well. Let's see. Okay, so that's, I think that's probably a key, is to tap the sides before you lift the lid, but even still, it has uh, grounds on the side, but that's no big deal. Even still, I'm very happy with it. Now remember, it's gonna hold in heat, so if you're gonna be putting it in something to seal, especially like Ziploc bags or anything, make sure you just let it uh, cool off 
put it in the refrigerator or whatnot so the heat doesn't create moisture in whatever container you're putting it in if you're storing it. Um, if you're not storing it, then I would leave it in the bean form and then just grind up when you're going to grind up. But overall, I'm happy. It would get higher if it didn't make a mess. Um, that's basically why we give it an 8 out of 10. Everything else works perfectly. So, 8 out of 10. I do want to point out that just that little bit of beans that I did, look how much coffee that created. I mean, this is not a small little jar. All that coffee from just a couple, what was it, like three, three little cups full? That's amazing. It actually goes to show you how they rip us off with coffee grounds versus buying the beans. But truly amazing. I, I'm, I'm very happy. I couldn't be any more happier um, with it other than it makes a mess, which the mess is easy to clean up if you got a vacuum or something like that. Or just do it over paper towels or an area that you can sweep up or clean easier. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video and choosing to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Did you know I actually have multiple YouTube channels? So if you guys are interested, check out all my other YouTube channels if you are into other different content. So up here, as you guys can see, it should be right up in here. These are my other YouTube channels spelled out. So just search them. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and checking out my other channels. You guys are the best and you're the reason why I do this. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and checking out my other channels. See you guys on the next video.